Ready. Um, Coach, just talk to us about uh, your team this year and uh, you know, playing here in, in this region and you know uh, against a tough schedule like you always put together. Yes, sir. So uh, this has been a, a strange year for everybody with COVID, of course, not getting to play last year. So a lot of the kids on our team, they're mostly sophomores. And because of that, they, had, they didn't have a whole lot of varsity experience except when they were eighth graders. So what's nice is the kids, they took some time, they really worked hard in the off season and, and took advantage of the time that they had with COVID to get better. And so when they came out, when, we, when the season was able to start back, they were just totally ready to go. So uh, as a coach, you love to see that. Um, I do think that we have a tough region and uh, we've come out really strong. We've, we've got a 10 and 0 record. We beat a couple of top ranked teams already this season. And I think that has a lot to do with the senior leadership that we have. Also from top to bottom, our lineup, we've got kids that can hit the ball really well. We've got three excellent pitchers, all three of them are sophomores, and they bring a little something different to, to each game. So I think it's the combination of our defense, our pitching, and our hitting that's, that's allowed us to have some success early in the season so far. Last year, whenever you know the season was canceled, I'm sure you, you stayed in touch with everybody on the team, did Zoom in that type of thing. Uh, walk us through what a practice was like back then, and then, of course, being able to come out here now and, and being able to compete. Yeah, that's a great question. So we spent a lot of time, first of all, when uh, we had just had a signing from our senior from last year, Carly Jeter, uh, that literally the day before they shut down the, the spring season for us. So it was pretty deflating when we learned we weren't going to have a season last year. So as soon as that happened, we communicated with the team. We let them know we still expect, well, of course, we didn't know if we were going to have a season last year at any point. So we asked them to stay ready. We gave them exercises and drills to do at home, although we couldn't work with them directly. And we asked them to stay in, in good shapes and a lot of conditioning exercises and things like that. But when we learned, you know, this season was progressing uh, towards the, this spring, uh, we started having uh, Zoom meetings in the winter. Uh, we, we gave them evaluations. We made them do self-evaluations. Uh, we talked to them about their, where they were and where they wanted to be. And we talked about, you know, what their goals were for this season, and we started early. Uh -huh. So I think by setting that expectation early, knowing that our expectations were high for them, they were pretty ready when, you know, when the time came for us to have our tryouts and really start to practice. I mean, they were so excited to be back. You could just see it on their face. So I think in normal seasons, we may take that stuff for granted. But in this case, the kids were ready to go right out of the gate. And that's really helped us, you know, kind of launch into the season uh, pretty strong out of the gate. Yeah. Who's, who's uh, some of your tough opponents in the, in the region, in the district right now? Yeah, absolutely. Right now, Lexington Catholic's doing a great job in the district. Uh, they've won some big games against good competition. They just beat Woodford uh, this past week. So we know that they've got a strong team. Uh, the other teams have, have struggled a little bit. They're kind of down. I'll say um, Dunbar wasn't sure if they were going to have a JV team this year, for example, and they did put that together, so I know they're working to build up their program again. Uh, LCA is also down on numbers, so it's hard for them to, to have, you know, like a, a lot of kids contribute when it's the same same girls trying to put in their work every day. So uh, so I think I think for the, for the district it's going to be tough probably between us and, and Lexington Catholic this year. Uh, looking at the region, the region is still strong. I know Woodford County left to go to the eighth region, but uh, we left behind. You know, we have Great Crossing now as a new school. We didn't get to see them last year. So they're going to be tough this year. A lot of those Scott County kids uh, went to that school, and we know Scott County is good every year, so they're always going to be a contender. We also have Madison Southern doing a great job. They've got a nice pitcher down there who's done a lot of great things. Uh, so, so we know that those three teams are probably uh, the top of the, of the region right now. But again, you've always got good coaching with Franklin and, and other, uh, all the other Region 11 schools, especially Lexington Catholic, could make some noise this year. So I think, I think it's, it's still open. I feel like we've got a little bit of advantage right now in the first part of the season. So I think we're, we're, we kind of have a target on our back right now. But, uh, but the kids are ready. They just keep working, and, and we're excited. All right, I'm here with Kennedy Messler. This is our starting center fielder. She's been she's a senior this year and of course didn't get to play with us last year because of COVID, but she's come in and done a tremendous job for us. And uh, I'll let her talk to you a little bit about how the season's going so far. Well, the season's going very, very well. We are winning every game. We're taking every girl. 
to the race ship. Like, we're doing the best we can do. Our communication's very good. Off and on the field, the dugout. I mean, I just want to go to state. That's it, really. Yeah. Um, talk, talk about what it means to be able to, to play this season after, you know, having to set through last season without getting to play at all. Well, after last season, I did not think I was going to go senior year at all. I was, I was sad at the beginning, but then I realized, I, I don't know, I just I wanted to play my senior year. I'm here with Riley Grants. She's our starting third baseman. Uh, she's, she's come out of the gates hitting the ball really well this year and has been a, a senior leader for this team for uh, not only this year, but the last couple years. Uh, she's really uh, shown, shown the kids how to perform, how to work, how to practice, and, and I think she's been a vocal leader this year as well. So we'll let her talk a little bit. About the season's gone really well so far. Everybody's really coming together and supporting each other, which has been like a huge thing, especially coming back from the not having a season last year. It's been good to have everybody together again. You can feel like the excitement of just being on the field, and everybody's super grateful. Um, yeah, everybody's just excited to play, and I think that's what's pushing us. Talk to us a little bit about your position on the team and uh, what you do defensively and off offensively for the team. Um, well, as a senior, like me and the other seniors have tried to like, step up and be like a leader on and off the field, just trying to like make sure everybody's okay and in the right headspace. And um, I play third. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, third, third's pretty tough to play, you know, playing softball because. I know a lot of the girls nowadays are, are hitting the ball pretty hard. So, yeah. uh, what's it like playing on the infield at, at this level, playing in a district and a region like you play in? Well, I, I love playing third just because the reaction time is like fast. I don't have time to think, which is good for me. Um, and I also like fielding the bunt because like it, you don't you don't have time to think. And so I like just like the fast pace of the game. Mm -hmm. so. what, what do you think about your teammates? Um, we're all super close. I love all of them and. We all get along really good, and just the support is awesome from everybody involved, like all the way down from seven to seniors, so it's nice. Yeah. What's it like playing for coach? Uh, he's a really good coach. <laughs> um, he, he's really supportive, and he has really high energy, which helps everybody for sure. I'm here with Natalie Henry. She's our starting second base this year. She's a senior. Uh, she's graduating uh, this season and going to the University of Western Carolina. So uh, she's our leadoff and has done an excellent job uh, really setting the, setting the offensive pace for us. Uh, the girls look up to her, and so we'll let her talk a little bit about how the season is going. Thank you. Um, I think as a whole, our team is doing very well at the beginning of our season this year. And I see us going to state and really working together. We're very supportive of one another. And I just love that about our team because no matter, like, whenever somebody gets down after, like, a strikeout or an air or whatever, we are always, like, so fast to pick each other up. And I think that's very important because, like, leading to the state, we need to have that. And we need to, like, know that we can trust one another. And I think that is what we have for this team. And just all around, I think that we'll continue to do well. What, what would you tell to some of the younger kids that are, you know, out here trying to work hard and earn that college scholarship, and knowing that you've already got your decision made and and uh, know where you're going? What What are some of the things that you say to them to help them look up and stay positive? I am always like trying to talk to them about how they can improve their game, and I'm always like wanting to help one of uh, our, like, our team out, teammates on the team. Excuse me. And I'll just tell them to always keep their head up and no matter what, have a great attitude because an attitude will get you very far in life and no matter what, have a great attitude and effort, especially effort because I think that's what really got me looked at as a player and I'll always like be there for them as well. Talk to us about your role, you know, as a leadoff hitter and then, you know, defensively, what do you do for the team? As a leadoff hitter, like I know um, my teammates behind me are like, looking for that first hit because that first hit like always gets that team rolling, gets our team going and I just know I I don't I gotta put the bat on the ball at least somehow and just or at least come into the dugout even if I after I strike out and just tell them like what I saw, make sure they're more confident. And I play second base. Um, and 
I love playing there. I've been playing there my whole life. Um, and I just really like talk to the whole team, um, tell them what plays are going to be made, uh, where should we go, um, bunk coverages, so we always know what we're doing and we're always on the same page.